be back at a State of Reform conference and being able to interact with previous colleagues, future colleagues, and just feed off of the excitement and the interest and discussions around healthcare policy in Texas. It's great. It's North Texas. This is our home. This is where we were born and bred. Our operations center here is here. And to be able to be here in person in Dallas is so exciting. We're all going to do better and we're all going to make more headway than if we have a million different reasons to be down in Austin and a million different reasons to be in D.C. So the more we can collectively say we all agree on these things. You know, there may be nuances around the edges, but there's things that we all feel are important. That becomes a lot more persuasive. We have a lot of legislative folks that attend. We have people from private and public sectors, insurance plans. All of our partners pretty much are there talking about and discussing the priorities for the state. And we may even come up with some ideas on how we can help the legislative folks set new bills and new policies. The downtime in between sessions when people can uh, just happen to run into each other or have sidebar conversations that are unplanned uh, can be very productive. The informal interaction and networking and trying to come up with new ideas, uh, that's really what these are about. It's really helpful to us to come and listen to the thoughts and ideas of those working in the trenches uh, so that we can take that information and try to convert it into some meaningful legislation that will help a lot of folks next session. What you learn in these crises, whether it's COVID or whether it's a, a hurricane, is that the baseline disparities get amplified. You know, you saw them exacerbated by either, you know, the, the distribution of where services were. And so people that have access at baseline are going to have access during COVID. And those that don't have access at baseline mm -hmm. are going to have a tougher time getting access. When you see other people with ideas that aren't yours and you learn about them and it might relate to what you're doing, or you have an idea that might relate to what someone else is doing, and there's kind of a synergistic effect of getting a lot of people in the room. We really are thankful for the conversations that State of Reform helps to um, provoke and, and create with this opportunity. Really appreciate the organization bringing us all together uh, so we can see and learn from each other and put names and faces together. From unwinding the PHE to transitioning to value-based care, these efforts require engagement and partnership that so many of y'all have done so much work through the PHE. And we look forward to continuing to partner with you to continue to improve the Medicaid program.